you're probably wondering how my hair got like this and why I did it. Well, let me tell you. I was tired of dyeing my hair. I just didn't feel like it was me. I felt like I needed to be my natural hair color. Why would you change? No offense to like anybody that gets their hair colored. I got mine done since 8th grade and I just decided I wasn't a fan of it anymore. Some people look great with their hair colored. I personally didn't like how it looked after a few months of getting it done. But now my hair is natural and I won't have to put chemicals on it as much and worry about it fading or looking a weird color. My hair used to look different colors on different days. Like what? No. No, no, no. I want my hair to be more a reflection of myself. If you want to see how the day went, getting my hair done. Here you go. I'm nervous. Today, getting my hair dyed darker. Yeah. I'm getting it dyed to my natural color. So this is the last time you'll see the blonde. Blonde. Hair needs help. Looks like so. Real nervous. Let's get it. Nervous is good. Nervous means that there's going to be a big change in your life for the good. I think I'm parked on the curb. Somebody just pulled in next to me. Also, I'm covering my pimple with my finger. I'm just really nervous, but I've been wanting to do this for a long time. Let's go get my hair done. So here it is. Back to natural. I feel like a new person. I like it. She did a really good job. You can't even tell that my hair was blonde before. Oh my god, I just accidentally locked my car. Actually, it should have been locked the whole time. I'm shedding. Gotten good responses so far. My mom liked it. I'm surprised. I'm in McAdamville, which if you're not from North Carolina, you don't know what McAdamville is, but it's Christmas Town, USA. It's like the number one place to drive around to see Christmas lights. I've never been here when it's not Christmas, but now it's like really cute. It's like this cute little old town. I think I'm gonna get coffee from the next door. That lady just walked out with the drink drink. Ma'am, it's 3.30. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go get coffee from there because why not try new things, you know? New person, new me. Yeah. Because what would it be without coffee? Oh. Accidentally walked into some winery restaurant place. But then I found the bakery, it was like two doors down. And I went there because I wanted iced coffee and I figured that they'd have that but they didn't. Ah! And, and I don't like cupcakes or cake or anything of that matter, but I didn't see the coffee when it said online that there was coffee, so I was like, mm, I'm just looking, and then she's like, oh, cupcakes are $2, it's $2 Tuesday, yeah, $2 Tuesday for cupcakes. I was like, oh. and this is like a small run bakery. I felt bad if I didn't get something because it's not like it's Starbucks and they're just gonna make it from somewhere else. No tea, no shade. I was like, I have the Reese's cupcake. So, oh man, it fell over. Oh dang it! It's called Floyd and Blackie's Bakery. It looked really pretty, I promise, but like, fell over in my bag. I got coffee. They just had hot coffee, which I mean that's fine. I don't know how I'm gonna eat this. Ah, uh, bro. This is the problem with getting your hair dyed. What is going on right here? And why can I not... Get it off. Yeah, it's not... It's not coming off. It's not coming off. Should I just stop trying? I know my hair probably looks black too, by the way, but it's not. It's dark brown. Also, it's a lot darker, she said, and once I wash it, it'll be like more of my natural color. So, I feel like it's toned kind of like 
reddish, purpley. I don't know. Okay, that's all for this video. I'll see you next time. If you want to get your hair dyed, let me know because this hairdresser said that if I refer somebody, they get $20 off and I get $20 off, so peace. Thank you.